Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Look what just arrived here in my house. So this is the Illustrated Bestiary Collectible Box Set. Now, there are a few in this particular series. They have the Bestiary, which is animals. Um, they also have Crystallary, which is crystals. And then there's another one, Herbiary, I think, is the one that it is. But the one that called to me is this one, the bestiary one. These things have been around for a while. Um, but, and I've seen them, be, I've seen them before. Nothing's ever really called to me. And you know what? Sometimes what it is, is it's the particular, um, the particular deck itself and you know or it could be a timing thing or whatever it happens to be so none of them really spoke to me before even though I've looked at them um, but this one did so clearly this one wanted to come home with me and so it has so this is a collectible it is very big okay this is like a big large hardcover kind of book here um, just about the size of a regular piece of paper, I like the 11, uh, what is it, eight and a half by 11, I think piece of paper, it's similar in size to that, a little bit smaller. So if you want an idea of that, so I know the cards are a lot smaller, the cards are not this big, that would just be just absolutely insane. So, but this is quite the collectible, uh, it's um, a very nice little, uh, very nice little set. So collectible box set guidance and rituals from 36 inspiring animals includes hardcover book deluxe oracle card set and a carrying pouch Ooh, i didn't even know about the carrying pouch oh my goodness that's actually really quite the bonus by maya toll and iris illustrated by kate o'hara so this is a very uh a very solid box it's a two-piece box there and oh yeah there's a picture of that i totally missed that anyway uh, so we have uh, some wonderful things in here. So let's crack this open. Now this one for me was 40 bucks. Um, let's see if there's another price tag on the back. $30 US is what that would cost you. So mine was in Canadian dollars. So uh, anyways, but let's open it up and have a look what's inside. So I'm open it up here and I'm having trouble with the cellophane today. So let's just there we go crack that open all right I really should probably take the cellophane off before I start the camera but anyway all right so the box set here what I find happens with these two-piece boxes ugh, as I there we go shake it off is they do tend to compact during travel and shipping and things like that so what I usually do with them is just do this just a little bit on the sides um, it doesn't ruin the box or anything. I'm just really kind of like releasing a little bit of tension there. And then that way, when I put it on and take it off again, it's a little bit easier. So you're not going to ruin your box if you do that. But let's have a look. Wow, this is a nice looking book. Look at this thing. It's got a little bit of sheen to it on there. Uh, our little deer at the bottom there is just a tiny bit shiny. Um, that is pretty. This is like, this isn't just a, a, that's your little white book in this one. So it's very much a hard cover there. Um, absolutely beautiful. We've got some animals and things on the back. Um, so that is, that is a nice, nice, nice book. The pages, oh, the pages are a little bit glossy. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get, move that out of the way for just one second. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful on there. So full color, big print. So, uh, you know, if you're getting a little bit older, if your eyesight's not as good as it once was, you may not even need glasses with those. So what does this have? So we'll start with the sea eagle since that's where I open it up to. Um, and we've got, uh, let's see, a little bit of a description or oh, a little bit of like a, um, a little bit of kind of like a story, like a mythology to that, I think there. Um, anyways, if we turn over, we've got the ritual, bring fire to your heart, ritual right there, bring fire to your heart. So a little bit of a ritual with that particular um, animal or the bird in that case. Reflection, what's clouding your vision. So something to reflect upon with that. So you've got like three pages of it. I mean, does it need to be this, does it need to be this big? Probably not, but it's a nice touch. So it's a nice little book. Look good on the bookshelf. Um, some beautiful imagery in there. Uh, let's see. Start at the front here. 
and so it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's see, how long has this thing been out? Since 2019, so it's been out for a few years now, um, but uh, anyway, so we've got a nice little table of contents on there, easy to find. Um, preface on there, introduction. Let's see how to use this book. And then we get right into it uh, with that. So we've got all of the everything on there. Let's see how many pages this is. And this is, what does it say? 166 pages right there so it's pretty it's pretty substantial here's the other ones in this particular series okay so uh she's got the books um oracle decks and the box sets um this one's a little bit out of date because a box set also has the crystallary one up here which was just a book but they have cards with it now as well so i know that comes in the box set also um but they also have jigsaw puzzles i almost accidentally grabbed that before i grabbed the box set i'm like ooh. I'm not, a, I'm not, I don't have the patience for jigsaw puzzles. They drive me crazy. So anyways, um, and there's the cards themselves as well. Um, and it looks like we do have how to work with the cards. Okay, great. Uh, we've got a one card draw, two card crossing, and that's the only thing they have there. I don't think they have any other spreads, but let's just check. No. No, they do not on there. So anyways, so you can probably make up your own spreads or just do them as a one one or two card draws. I mean, it is an animal deck there. Um, but there's ways to work with, uh, with spirit animals and things where you can do spreads. So whatever works for you. But let's have a look at the rest of this. Oh, here's the carrying pouch. So it's blue. It's a royal blue satin. Very pretty. You can see it in contrast to my royal purple satin. That's on my reading cloth that really is very slippery. It keeps moving around. It's probably not the best one to use under an unboxing. But anyway, it is what it is. So beautiful royal blue there. Love that. And then we've got the cards. So yes, the cards are a considerably smaller uh, than the book. All right, we've got this stupid insert in here, which I'll probably remove. Um, I'll probably take this out, put the cards in the pouch, put the pouch in the box, and then put the book with it. Um, it's probably how I will store those. <gasps> They're gilded. Okay, um, pardon me. <laughs> if you watch my channel at all, you know how much I love 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 gilded cards um so let's open this up there we go open this up there we go okay lots of cellophane today all right get rid of my scalpel you don't need to see that um i am a, <laughs> i have a uh among many other things that i do i have a uh, uh, side business, which uh, I've actually abandoned for the moment, um, but it's um, a cake baking business. So I make custom cakes and things. So I have the scalpers on hand to uh, do decorations and things like that. Anyway, there is the back of the cards there. They've got a little bit of a gloss to them, but they're not a high gloss finish um, from the feel of them. So it's probably just something on there just to protect them. They do have a little bit of a reflection, but it's not too bad. Um, they're more cardboardy than plasticky, I would say, but they're pretty sturdy, so not too bad there. In that, cardstock is always a very personal preference, and people can debate that all day long. But <gasps> beautiful gilding on there. That is very nice. What a beautiful touch to those. Now, these are, um, they're not too big, actually. They're pretty good. There's my hand. Uh, and you can see them there. So I can still, you know, I can still like kind of grip them a little bit like that. Um, so it's pretty good. And they're not overly large, but they are bigger than regular tarot size, of course. Um, so as Oracle cards do tend to be, uh, they're a little bit stuck together right out of the box. That does tend to happen when they are gilded and cellophane together, um, but they're not going to stick together going forward. All right. So probably like for shuffling, um, I would say probably shuffle this way. Uh, some people do like 
the riffle shuffle. I don't. Um, it ruins your cards eventually, but if you did, you could go like that. But let me tell you, these cards are fairly stiff, so you're probably not going to be able to do that easily. All right, but you can always give it a whirl and see how that works for you. So let's get right into this and let's have a look at these cards. I am going to have to kind of stop and pull them away um, a little bit. And just because I can tell that they are a little bit stuck together, but that's okay. So there is our friend, the black bear, sync with the cycles. And okay, so it actually says, that's really quite handy, uh, it says page 55, so it, can, it actually tells you what page in the book you can find uh, the bear. Um, so that's really, really handy because sometimes these books, uh, depending on what you're getting, I have a couple that I've gotten, they're new, and I've gotten them recently, and um, you can't find anything. It's They're not alphabetical, they're not numbered, they're nothing, and so you have to, you really have to kind of get the book out and kind of look and see where the hell did these go. Um, so it's really quite handy and very, uh, very convenient that that's written on there. Appreciate the process. We've got the cow and the bull. Grow Your Truth, Black Snake. Doesn't look quite like a black snake, it's a rainbow snake, oh, but it's shedding its skin, very interesting. Navigate Life with Determination, we've got Red Salmon. Man, if you've never seen salmon spawning, they swim upriver, right, and sometimes the current is quite strong, so yes, determination, that's for sure. Nurture Connections with the Gray Wolf, right, they live in packs. Evolve into your next becoming. The spring peeper. Is that a frog? Salamander or no, uh, tadpole moving into a frog, I guess so. Um, we have here the common raven. Align with your inner compass. I think this is the one that's on the front of the book and the box. Is it butterfly? Maybe not. Anyways, uh, this was on the jigsaw puzzle, I think it was. So digest your past, monarch butterfly. Discover your pattern, the broad-winged caddy, caddy did, Katie did. Anyways, it looks like a cricket to me, but anywho, <laughs> I'm sure it's maybe a version of that. Make manifest and the beaver. Look at this little beaver, Dan. You ever wonder what was inside one of those things? Well, maybe they have crystals and candles. I don't know. But anyways, make manifest with the beaver. Busy little beavers. Dive under the surface with the orca. I'm very fortunate to live in a place where we've got both beavers and orcas. Uh, they're majestic. Um, they're mean, though. Uh, they don't call them killer whales for nothing. All right. They will pick fights with other marine life and sometimes ram your boat. So listen for spirit. We've got the barn owl. Love owls. Work together. We've got the house mouse. Key into wisdom, little owl. So pretty. Honor lineage, Asian elephant. The thing is, like, they're, I mean, the, the illustrations on these cards, they're, it looks busy, but you can tell what it is. And they're not so, they're not, like, super busy for the sake of being busy. I mean, if we look at the elephant, so we've got, like, a mountain, we've got a pathway, We've got other little elephants coming in there. We've got what looks like DNA strands in there. We've got the trunk coming up here with water. And actually the water flows from the mountain. And this is attached to that water coming out of the trunk. Really interesting. Um, we've got trees coming out the back and then some mandala in the back. So really kind of cool. There's a lot going on. But it's not so, so busy that you can't make it out. So it's actually quite nice. Change your perspective, nuthatch. I didn't actually know. I didn't actually know that was a bird. Anyways, learn something new every day. Um, free your inner fire, Pil uh, pileated woodpecker. Woodpeckers are so cool. Unless, of course, they mistake your metal chimney flue for a tree, then they're annoying. Anyway, love fiercely with the whooper swan. Swans mate for life, apparently. Steady on, common tortoise. One foot in front of the other. My dad's neighbor has tortoises. He's got like five. One of them is like the size of like my, uh, my round dining room table. And it's like, it's like a, just a small table. Um, but that thing is big. He can't even pick it up anymore. But anyways, he's got these tortoises. They're kind of cool. 
Um, get creative, screech owl. If you've never heard one of those things, man, they're frightening. Anyways, know your song. We've got the house finch. Spider, zigzag spider. Everything is connected. Yes, the webs they weave, right? Discover your purpose with the earthworm. Here's the sea eagle. That's the page that we looked at. Renew your life with the sea eagle. That's, really, that's a really beautiful card. Uh, we have our sea turtle. Find your element. Oh, look how pretty that is. Beautiful. Anyways, um, stand up for yourself with the spotted skunk. I didn't know skunks came in spots. Um, we have a we have a striped one digging up the backyard right now in the middle of the night. Uh, shape shift with the red fox. Five line skink delight in daring. Very interesting. Navigate by the sun, and we've got the honeybee. Slide into joy with the river otter. If you've ever encountered a river otter, oh my goodness, they always look like they're having such a good time. Uh, we have Transcend Yourself, Andalusian Horse. Remember Forgetting, Human. Interesting. Remember Forgetting. Is that like old Lang Syne? you got to remember that you forgot something and how can you... Remember that you forgot when you forgot. Anyways, that would be interesting. I'm going to read that one. Remember forgetting with being human. Um, sounds interesting. Deal with the dirt. Eastern oyster. You are worthy with the tabby cat. Oh, I used to have a tabby. She was the sweetest thing. Uh, commune with nature. Blue damselfly. It's like a dragonfly. Pause, assess, and act with the white-tailed deer. So there we have it. Beautiful cards. Um, beautiful cards there. Uh, do they spread? No, my deck doesn't spread. Uh, it comes off in chunks there. It's probably due to the fact that they are brand new. They are compacted there. Um, and it is a very sturdy card stock there. So it's um, really quite nice. They should... Uh, they should last a while in theory. Um, so do you have this deck? Do you use this deck? Do you like this deck? Um, what do you think? Uh, what's your first impressions? Throw a comment in the box down below. Always nice to hear your guys' first impressions. And of course, if you already have this thing, how does it work for you? What do you find with it? Um, how has it resonated with you? So I thank you guys for watching. I'll put a link uh, down below um, if I can find it as to where to buy it um, if you want. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.